And hello again. Here we are for part two of finding statistics from tables. In this case, group data tables, special request for Gemma because I really don't want to be working during the weekend or having, I don't like going home, leaving questions unanswered. So when I get out of the way, leave it down, move on. So um, here now, what we've got is a grouped data table. So how is this table different from the one in the previous video? That's right, because as you can see, the ages of the people are in classes or categories. So we've got 16 to 18, 19 to 21, etc. etc. So do we know for sure those 56 people what were their actual ages no we don't they could all be 16 years old they could all be 17 years old they could all be 18 years old we don't know we simply know they are in that category okay so i'm going to talk about the mode and the mean first and i'll uh, i'll talk about the range and the median later but um, yeah, we need to be careful with that. So, let's go then. Uh, the mode, uh, when we have a group data table, we don't call it the mode anymore uh, because we don't have the actual data. So we call it the modal class. So which of these categories is the most common? Well, the 22 to 25, isn't it? So, I don't know uh, what the mode is, but I know that the model class, oh, hello, uh, the most um, common category is going to be the 22 to 25. Brilliant stuff. Now, to find the mean, um, it's going to involve a little bit of multiplication like it did earlier with the frequency table. However, we don't know the actual ages. So what are we going to do? Are these 56 people all 16? Are they all 18? Are they in between? What are they? So what we're going to do then is make an estimate. So we're going to estimate the mean. The question in the exam will ask you to find an estimate for the mean. And we're just going to cut down the middle. We're just going to assume our safest guess is going to be that if some people are 18 and some people are 16 and some people are 17, well, assume they're all 17. We cut down the middle, we minimize the error we could make. So we need a new column here, which we're going to call the midpoint. And we need to find the midpoint between these two numbers. Now remember, this is easy, but in general, to find the midpoint between two numbers, you're going to add them together, divide by 2. So the midpoint here is 17, that's 20, that is going to be 23.5, because add them together, divide by 2, and that one there is going to be 27.5. Now, I need to figure out how many people I've got in total, Add them all up in total. I've got 224 people, uh, and then we are going to need again a new column here. Let me erase the model class thing. Um, so, a new column that is going to be the midpoint times the frequency. Because I've got 56 people, I'm assuming they are all 17 years old, so what's the total of their ages? Well, it's 56 17s, so multiply them together, and here I get 952, 64 times 20 is 1280, 
92 multiplied by 23.5 is 2162 and finally 12 multiplied by 27.5 is actually 330 meant for math there add them all together 4724 so the total of the ages of these 224 people added together is 4, uh, 4,724. So my estimate for the mean is going to be 4,724 divided by 224. Give my answer rounded to one decimal place. Watch out in the exam whether it's one, two, or significant figures, whatever it is. In this case, I'm going to do it to one decimal place. 21.1 and that's how we find the model class that's how we found the mean from a group data table um, in the exam particularly in foundation at the most they're going to ask you where the median is so um, remember from the previous video to find the median with the total plus one uh, divided by two, here you just have to do uh, 224 plus one divided by two. So 225 divided by two is going to be 112.75, I think it is, 112.75. So I need to find where person 112 0.75. Let me write it down for you, actually. So, median person, or the median point, is the total, plus one, divided by two, total, 224 plus one, divided by two, is a hundred and 12.5 and there was a 75 earlier 112.5 so I need to find person 112.5 uh, so these two together adds up to 120 so that's the first 56 people that takes me all the way to 120 if, I only need to, if I'm only trying to find person 112.5, that person is going to be one of these 64. So the median is in the 19 to 21 range. So the median, uh, let's give ourselves a bit more board space. So the median is somewhere in the 19 to 21. Okay, well that's it for the media, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about it uh, in the foundation paper. For the range, um, remember the range is the highest, take away the lowest. Now, depending on the textbook, all right, so there's, there's different things here. The range is the highest, take away the lowest. The highest age I could have is 29, so the range would be 29, take away the lowest age, and the lowest age we could have is 16, so the answer is 13, so the, the maximum range uh, there, a bit better, is 13. Now, our textbooks, some textbooks, what they do for the range is they look at midpoints. So it would be 27.5, take away 17. Uh, which is 10.5. Um, let me show you the 10.5 on the screen. All right, now, 
I don't know, is the answer here. The highest possible range you could have is when you go with the highest and the lowest. And using midpoints is always going to give you a slightly smaller range. Um, in the past, I've always used this one here. I am aware of textbook uses that one there. I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest. Um, typically, because we're estimating and you want to be cautious, you're going to go for what's the widest possible range. And I would prefer that answer there, but um, you need to be careful there and read the question carefully. Anyway, that is all about finding averages, uh, mean, medium, mode, and the range, which is not average, from a group data table, okay? So again, I hope it was clear. Message me if you need anything. Um, watch it, rewind it, pause it, try again, work it out in your book as I went along. I hope everything is fine. Keep working, don't stop. Uh, I'm glad you cannot go out Keep your brain um, healthy, hydrated, no alcohol, good stuff. Take care, see you next time. Bye.